So I spent my day yesterday um, checking out this new collection by L'Oreal. It's called Collection Star Le Rouge. They're a range of seven lipsticks. They're all shades of red, which would work across the board for all Indian skin tones. Uh, my favorite one is the one by Frida Pinto. It's called Pure Rouge and it's the reddest of reds. Immediately you can see how much coverage is one swipe has given me. I really like how this looks on my lips. Generally when you're wearing matte lipsticks they tend to tug and pull at your lips because the formulation is such but because this is hydrating it glides on very smoothly. Now I'm going to take this off and try the next color. The next one is Pure Scarletto and this is more of a pinkish red, like it has a slight pink tinge to it. It looks a lot more pink after wearing than it does in the tube. It's a really nice pinkish red to wear in the day. Does not have as much coverage as the Pure Rouge did. Uh, I had to go over it a couple of times to get this intensity of colour and I feel like there's some discoloration in the corners of my mouth still. So I've just tried um, this shade. Even though this is Aishwarya Rai's um, red, I do think it will look much nicer on deeper skin tones because it's a very warm red. So this one I'm trying now is called Pure Fire. It's a proper orange and orange looks really good on Indian skin tones because it brings out the golden in our skin. Personally, I think this looks a lot more glossy than matte um, as a lipstick. If I did go for this shade, I would definitely use a lip liner. But if not, I would not uh, probably not buy this particular shade if I have dark lips. The shade I'm trying now is called Pure Woman. So this is very pink as you can see. Um, it does have a slight red tinge to it. Uh, this shade is very similar to Scarletto, which is Blake Lively's colour. But I thought that this one has less coverage. But overall, I like the way this looks better than uh, Scarletto did on me. And I think that's probably because it has a little bit more pink to it. So it makes me feel like it's brightening up my face a lot more and make me look healthier. So I would probably go for this one if your skin tone is similar to mine. I would probably wear this um, with just a lot of mascara and just highlight my skin and make sure all the blemishes and everything is concealed and it's just a clean look where just the lips pop. So the next colour I'm going to try is Pure Amarante. When we actually got this packet, I thought this would be my least favourite colour. Because I've always seen people, um, a lot of people who wear Indian clothes match this uh, fuchsia pink to their fuchsia outfits and I don't think that's the way to do it. I think it looks so much classier if you were um, to have your lips stand out and make that the focus. So maybe pair it with jeans and a white t-shirt or a black shirt and I think that would look so much cooler than um, actually matching your lipstick to your outfit so I am actually a fan of this one and it's surprised me the last shade in this collection is called Pure Garnet it's Sonam Kapoor shade this is a very plumish like very deep red but it's almost plum and uh, plum is a huge trend this season so if you want to bear the trend uh, this is a great way to incorporate it so I'm just going to try it and show you guys I think this is the most elegant colour of the lot. I would probably pair this with just a wash of like plum eyeshadow and just have something very monochrome going on with it and probably wear it with a yellow outfit. The other thing I want to mention about this colour is that if you have very thin lips you probably want to stay away from colours like this because it's going to emphasize how small your lips already are 
but if you do want to try it if you do have you know small lips is you could try overlining your lips just a little bit like slightly use a lip pencil and just go slightly over your lip line so that gives the appearance of fuller lips if you're looking for a classic red go for the pure rouge by frida pinto pure scarletto is a good pinkish red to wear during the day pure brick is a great mix of red and orange it is a safe color to try for those just starting to experiment with red lipsticks pure fire is an orange and has less coverage Avoid this color if you have dark lips. I prefer Pure Vermil to Scarletto because it is a warmer pink and a more versatile color that would work for different occasions. Pure Amarante is a fuchsia pink. It is a bright color perfect for when you want your lips to be in focus. Pure Garnet is a deep red, almost a plum and totally on trend this season. This lipstick costs uh, 9.95 rupees which if you're looking for a great lipstick in terms of coverage and staying power this is a good one to have by the way the staying power on this lipstick is about 7 hours i put it on after lunch yesterday and it stayed up till dinner time for me so which was a good time to have any type of lipstick stay on if you guys try out this lipstick uh, please tell me in the comments below i love to hear what you guys have to say and in the meanwhile, stay tuned and stay glamorous.